Today, it's all about gratitude. It is, <laughs> it is a challenge. We have a lot to complain about, and we are wired, really, to notice the negative things in life. It's a survival mechanism. But just taking even a few minutes each day to recognize what you have to be grateful for, and we all have a lot to be grateful for, it really makes a difference in the quality of how you're living your life. It releases anxiety, it boosts your mood, and it gives you a clearer picture, a better perspective, because it's never all bad. There is a lot we can be grateful for, and, and shifting our focus a little bit to notice that and to really own that and cultivate an attitude of gratitude, it makes a big difference. So we're going to try to do that today, and of course, we'll have a little self-massage to go with it. So just sit nice and comfortably. You could sit on a chair, on the floor, just make sure you're comfortable, but sitting upright, nice and tall. And we'll just start with a little temple massage around because that feels so good. So just circles on the temples, so great for relieving headaches. Hmm. Remember to take some nice deep breaths here. And while you're at it, feel grateful for your breath, for that wonderful oxygen that comes in and nourishes our whole bodies. And feel grateful for those long exhales that just relax us and make us feel better. We can also be grateful for our ability to help ourselves feel better, for the power we have to change things, to change our outlook, to change our perspective. We can be grateful for having that ability. And let's go on to the scalp. So we're going to pick up the tissue, the cranial fascia here, and move it around. That's how you can really get into that tissue and make it feel good. So you can even see my face moving, I'm sure, with this because I'm moving the whole scalp. You can do circles. You can go up and down, back and forth, any which way, diagonally. Just find where it feels good. Find areas that feel maybe a little stuck or a little tender, and you can just apply pressure and hang out there for a while. Take nice deep breaths to release it. In through the nose and out through the nose. And then continue exploring. I find scalp massage always so relaxing. We have so much tension up there all the time. Mm. Keep those nice deep breaths. Find everywhere. Explore the whole scalp. Go to the base of the scalp, that bony ridge there, the occiput. That's a great place. A lot of tension there. And explore through the whole back of the scalp. And we'll move it on over to the ears. We'll just take our fingers like this and make little circles all the way around. So I'm starting at the top, going circling, sort of pulling and moving a little as I go. Circling all the way down to the earlobes. And then you can even go a little bit inside which feels surprisingly good. Just taking two fingers, 
going inside and around and just massaging through that. You could do both at the same time. You can pull, which feels really good because it pulls all that fascia on the face, on the scalp, even right in through to the dura mater surrounding the brain and the spine. It's all connected in there. So a nice big pull. You can pull up, you can pull out. Go ahead in the middle section, find where it feels good. You can pull down on the earlobes. Do some more circles there if you like. Mm, you're finding what feels good for your body. Everyone's different, but you know yourself best. Let's take our, I call them scissor fingers. You can do it this way, or you can do it this way, whichever is easier for you. You're gonna put them on either side of the ear, like that, and then just rub up all the way and down, up and down, applying pressure as you move up and down. This feels so good, so relaxing. I'm so grateful <laughs> for this massage move because it's so yummy. <laughs> and while we're there, we can massage around the mastoid process. That's that big bump right behind the ear. You'll feel it there. It's a big bump there, big bony landmark. And just do some nice circles there. Press in as much pressure as you like. That feels good, no pain, should all feel good. And just give that a bit of a massage. And come right around to that temporomandibular joint, TMJ, right in front of the ear here. Clench your teeth together, you'll feel it pop out that joint and then let your teeth be separate and your jaw relax and just do nice little circles there. You wanna go gentle here, it's on a joint. You can move up and down, find where it feels good, find where it might be tender, hang out there for a bit before moving on, just applying pressure and breathing out tension. Hmm. And just breathe in gratitude for your body, for your mind, for your home, for the people you love and who love you back, for your talent and skills, for the work that you do, for the food that you eat, the clothes that you wear, for your hobbies, for the sunrise and the sunset, for the moon and the stars, for whatever, YouTube. I'm very thankful for YouTube. <laughs> for massages, definitely. And we're going to do a jaw release while we're here. So go right underneath the cheekbones, right underneath those, the arch of the cheekbones. You're gonna go in the soft tissue, in, and sort of up and underneath a little bit, underneath those cheekbones. You probably won't get far, but <laughs> just, just the idea. And then you're going to just let gravity take your hands down. So you're gonna slacken the jaw. I'm going to look ridiculous, and you probably are too, but at least I can't see you. But you can laugh at me. That's okay, that's allowed. Be grateful that you can laugh at me. And just let uh, the jaw drop as gravity takes your hands down. I'm not pulling it, I'm not forcing it. I'm just letting it slacken and letting my arms hang out. <laughs> All the way down. Ah, uh, taking your time. Ah, oh, that's always such a nice relief for the jaw. So good, especially if you tend to clench or grind your teeth at night. 
great little technique to do there. And now we're going to do some neck myofascial release. I think pretty much all of us could use some neck work. They get so tight and sore looking at computer screens and texting and lying on the couch. And if you sleep on your stomach with your neck turned to one side, I'm sure you know what I mean. So we're going to take a soft fist, just, you know, relaxed hand. You've got some bones from the spine sticking out on the side. So you don't want to go exactly over those because that would feel a little like you're poking into the bone. That's not good. Go right behind it and you'll feel it because if you're, you're on it, it won't feel so good. So just move back a little bit and you'll feel like it's softer, softer tissue. Go right at the base of the skull to start. And then again, we're just letting gravity move your hand down. You're just applying pressure and you're applying the pressure inwards and downward, but the movement comes from the tissue release and from just gravity, relaxing it down. So here, I'm going really slowly, applying pressure with the knuckles. Make sure you keep that working shoulder relaxed. That's always tricky, right? Nice and slow. And if you would like to add a little bit of intensity, if it's not too intense already, you can start to bring your opposite ear towards your opposite shoulder in side flexion. Really slow again. Everything's really slow. And it feels great that way too. And then you can slowly come back up and do it again and you'll feel the tissue stretch. And then when you get to the bottom, let's actually give that side a good stretch. So you're going to bring your ear to your shoulder and then with your hand, you can assist if you want to, but again, I'm not pulling uh, or torquing or anything like that. I'm really just resting my hand on my head to give it a little, extra stretch. Keep that opposite shoulder down. It'll help if you want to grab underneath your chair and hold, or if you just want to put your hand on your shoulder to make sure that it stays down. And give it a nice stretch and breathe. And be thankful for stretches because they feel so good and they're so good for your body. Come out of it slowly, slowly, slowly. And then let's go ahead to the other side. So soft fist right behind those transverse processes and the soft tissue at the base of the skull. And then just putting in some pressure and beginning to move downward. Stay there. Or if you want, you can do a little bit of active release. You're doing active release and myofascial release. Look at this. You're doing some advanced techniques here. You are helping yourself. It feels so good to have the power to do that, you know? When something is ailing you to be able to say, oh, I know how to help this. It's awesome. Oh, nice and slow breathing. You can take the head back and forth or you can just do it one time going extra slow. Relax that shoulder of the working arm. Got to keep reminding yourself of that. <laughs> I know I do. So good, and then we'll stretch that side. So ear to the shoulder, keep that shoulder down and apply just a little bit, just gravity, not pushing, just resting, resting your hand and take some deep breaths into that. Hmm. And think about 
being grateful for this time that you're taking for yourself. It often is difficult to find the time or make the time for self-care, and I commend you for doing so. And I am thankful for this time with you. So we'll move on to do a little hand massage. So find that thinner eminence. So this big thumb pad that gets so tight with all our typing, just go ahead in there and do some nice deep circles, which should feel really relaxing, especially for the thumb. Now I'm holding my hand up so you can see, but you can rest it down. You can do it with your thumb. You don't have to hold it up. <laughs> and in fact, it's better if you wanna rest it down because that'll relax your arm more. But I'm gonna do this so you can see. Then you can go out and start doing circles all around the palm. Find any areas of tension and hang out there for a bit. Or you can do some sort of muscle stripping right up the metacarpals from base to head here. My hands are a little dry. I probably should put some, a tiny bit of lotion on before doing this. And you can use some lotion. Um, you just don't wanna to use too much. You don't wanna slip on it. You still wanna be able to move and engage the tissue. But it is a cold winter and my hands get really dry. And then give yourself some traction, so gentle pull on the thumb, pulling up on the fingers. You could also massage, twisting, pulling, twisting each finger. You might get a little crack in the knuckle. That's okay. <laughs> and then we'll move on to the other one. So that thenar eminence. I just say, you know, it's, it's just such a funny word. That's why I say it. <laughs> I don't, I'm not out to like necessarily teach anatomy. It's just such a funny thing. So I just say it. <laughs> so doing some nice circles. And then you can move it all around the palm. And if you want to, that muscle stripping up, that feels really good. Mm, this one's nice. I'm going to come back the other way. You'll always find that one side is different than another. One side feels more tense. One side feels more sore. One more stable. That's completely normal. None of us are perfectly symmetrical. It's just information. It's just interesting to notice. Maybe it'll tell you that one side needs a little extra love. And let's traction those fingers. Pulling. And be thankful for your hands because they do a lot. They do a lot of work every day and they're here to give you a self massage. So I am grateful for my hands. Go ahead and interlace the fingers and just give a nice stretch up all the way to the sky. Oh, feels so good. Stretch the whole spine up. See if you can make space in between each vertebrae. Mm. And relax it down, roll the shoulders. And I am so grateful that I got to spend this time with you. 